Hello and welcome. I'm Harish and in this channel I talk about building anything without coding. And here is a quick demo of what we're going to build in this quick video. We're going to build a text comparison app. So let's quickly watch the demo first and then go ahead and build it in less than 10 minutes of course. So let's just paste two different strings and two similar strings and see what the output is. So the first one is this is a first string and the second one is this is a second string and you click compare you'll see the score right the score is they look 80 percent similar now let's quickly compare two entirely different strings and see what the output is see as you can see uh, when we did the different strings it shows that the similarity is very low now what is happening is if the score is below 50 what i'm doing is i'm showing a different emoji and the score and if it is above 50 i'm showing a thumbs up right so let's quickly jump into building this app without writing any piece of code So the API that we are going to use is called Text Similarity Calculator that is available on Rapid API. I'll give you the link to this API in the description below that you can use. And there are a couple of things that you have to notice about this API. It accepts two strings, right? One is first string and the second one is second string. You have to pass strings and you need these two values. You have to create your account and get these values in your account, right? And then call the API right and the obvious thing that you also need is a thunkable account so let's quickly create a project and uh, get started this app text similarity app right category is education i'm just going to leave everything else default once you click create if you remember we need two text fields one button one loading icon and also the thumbs up and thumbs down icon and then the score itself right so let's quickly add those components here for the text fields we are going to add text input and we need another one i'm just going to add another one right so i'm going to rename this to second string and rename the first one to first string and then we need a compare button so i'm going to drag and drop button here call it compare and change the border radius to zero so it looks flat and neat you can also change the color change the font type i want to change the color to let's say the space to color or light green paste it in the center then we need a loading icon i'm just going to drag and drop the loading icon here and then visibility is set to false so that we can show the visibility once we have a value right and then along with this what we also need is thumbs up and thumbs down icons right we are using labels for that and emojis so i'm just going to paste the label here and then also change the font size to let's say 50 and then remove this and change the label to up and add the emoji here so what we're going to do is thumbs up emoji let's just copy that and here let's also keep thumbs down ready i'm going back to thunkable pasting it in the string field so now the thumbs up emoji shows up i'm going to align it to center and then align the same to center right let's quickly drag this below because the loading icon shows up here now we have this ready i'm going to just quickly duplicate this right and then change up one to down and copy the thumbs down emoji And then paste it here right now we have thumbs up and thumbs down both have to be hidden right so i'm going to change the visibility to hidden select this change it to hidden and then we need score again same label here and change the font size to let's say 90 and then also align it to the center so that it looks clean and neat text align center and then remove the label so that we can add whatever label we want here and here we can say score right now we have all the components ready let's jump into building the logic for this 
right so go to blocks right now the first step for building the logic for this is to create an empty variable where we can store the api's response right so what we are going to do is quickly click on variables and say initialize app with variable name as api response and then here inside this just paste the empty text string right now when somebody clicks on compare we need to be able to get these two string values and then pass it to the api and then get the response right if you go back to the api they're just passing the values as f text and s text here right so first string and second string and along with that we need to set the headers to these values and the response will be in this format right so that we need to be able to parse all of this i'm saying parse because these are called json responses json is a format where uh, text is stored in the form of key value pairs anything that starts with curly braces is called a json object right this is something that you have to remember if you are a no coder or if you don't know these terminologies and if you're not a coder right so let's close all of this go back to blocks now let's quickly start building once somebody clicks on the button they have to basically now start the process of calling the api and getting the score let me quickly build this and then i will explain to you what is happening but before that the other component that we have to add here is a web api web api is how you can call apis inside thunkable for that just scroll down on the left to advanced and click on web apis here paste the url that you have to call which is from here this is the url that you have to call and once you create an account and login into rapid api you will get the sign up key right so i'm not going to show what key i'm going to use but make sure you copy the key from your account and paste that when we are adding the header right the url is here simple straight up then we need these two headers to be added so i'm just going to copy this and add it in the property here and then the value is going to be this and then we also need to add the second header which is copy this without the quote so i'm going to remove that and the value is your api key so make sure you paste your api key here you will get this after creating an account on rapidapi.com once you add that click on save or submit right now once this is done i'm going to quickly build the logic in blocks and then explain to you at the end of this video you can now see a quick walkthrough of what all blocks you are going to use So as I mentioned, the structure of the API is sending data in JSON format and anything that is in curly braces is an object. So what we are doing here when we are setting the query parameters, we are creating an object with these two fields, F text and S text is similar to what the example shows on rapidapi.com. Now back to building. Now here, what we're doing is the response is also in JSON format. So we're just saying get object from JSON and the response is the response from the API and store it in the variable, right? Now we have to just use this variable and get the score, which is the percentage.
that's it so that's the logic now let me quickly walk you through what is happening in the first step when somebody clicks on the button what we are doing is enabling the loading icon to show up and then we are setting the parameters to the object as i mentioned before and then once we have the response we are calling the api using the get method you can do this by clicking on web underscore apis and drag and drop the get method and then if status is 200 200 is usually the success response in HTTP status code. So if your status is equal to 200, what we're doing is set the variable that we created before and store the response JSON in it and then get the property percentage as per the API and store it in the score text label that we created. And then set the visibility to true because we have hidden the label and we are only going to show it once the, we have the score available. And then we are adding another if condition where we are checking if the score is more than 50 or less than 50 just to show a thumbs up and thumbs down so i'm just duplicating this and then checking if it is greater than 50 i'm showing up is visible to true and if not down is visible to true and then i'm disabling the loading icon that's it now you can simply test it in the web preview here or use the live test on device or you can share it with uh, anybody you want or download and publish the app and that's how you build a text comparison app using a simple basic API from Rapid API. I hope uh, you learned something new with this. If you did, drop a like to the video and consider subscribing if you are into building without coding. See you in the next one. Peace.